Well, it's Music Makers Friday, and today, Music Time in Africa host Heather Maxwell introduces us to a colorful artist with a smooth voice. Heather, over to you. I'm sitting here with a rising star from Ghana and the U.S. Her name is Amare, and we're in East Legon, where she lives, and we're having a chit-chat about who is Amare. What you really got to say? A pretty girl with bumper and a little waist. Skin so smooth, I mean it's hard to look away. I am a Give singer, a songwriter, a producer, and the message that I'm carrying across is more about self-expression. You see, my hair is blue. so you know, <laughs> I do see that. It's sparkly also. Yeah, yes, it's glittering as well. Um, and I always have different hair colors. Um, so one thing that I'm really trying to push across is about freedom and just freedom of expression and doing that through song and doing that through the way that I dress and the way that I express myself in other ways and in other parts of my career as well. So what is your most exciting, most recent work? Um, so right now, uh, I have my EP out. Um, it's called Passion Fruit Summers, and we have this fantastic song on it. It's called Fluid, and we have a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous video that we just shot and put out a month ago. So I think right now, that's the most exciting thing that I have out, and that's what people are really gravitating to as well. See, I didn't think I'd see the day where I shut all this water What is fluid about? Fluid, fluid is an interesting metaphor. It's a metaphor. I, hmm, I feel like I want to leave that up to the audience to listen and then to judge. You say that freedom of expression is really important to you. Uh, what kind of experiences have shaped that um, desire to sing and write about that topic? I've always been the rebel in my family. Um, traditional African kids should not be able to color the, their hair the way that, you know, they color their hair. Being a kid in a family, like one thing is that nobody wants their kid to be a musician. So I really pushed the boundaries in my family. And I started working in a studio when I was 17 years old. And I remember my parents being so against it. But as I pushed and as I showed them that I'm taking over my independence, this is what I want to do. This is how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to make sure that I do it to the best of my ability. And that resonates in my songwriting as well. I don't want to waste my time on mistakes. Can you just sample a teeny bit of one song, a cappella? Your voice is so beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling so fluid, fluid, yeah, yeah. Baby, let go. You can do it. Just do it. Fluid, fluid. I love that voice. <laughs> I love that voice. So uh, what's next for you? After this EP, are you going to put out some more videos? Or are you working on a whole entirely different project? Definitely videos. We have some amazing videos that we went out to LA to shoot. And then during that time, I'm probably thinking some singles and some collaborations with other artists. And then go underground and work on my next project, work on my album. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you, too. I appreciate you taking the time out for this. This is Heather Maxwell, host of Music Time in Africa, under starry skies in East Legon, Ghana, with Amare.